Hey guys, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. I'm here with ParaZero today at Interdrone 2017. I'm here with Eden Atias, CEO of ParaZero. How are you doing, Eden? Great. So what can you tell us about your uh, ParaZero solution? Well, uh, what we call our safety box, mainly that's uh, the easiest way to, to describe it. It's a full autonomous uh, combination that can connect to any type of drone. We provide uh, with we present in this trade show two types of the matrix 200 that we see here and the 600 over there. And everything is in here. It's our smart system, which has our own redundant separate sensors. We're not taking anything from the drone. Everything is in our box. We have an ability to sense what's happened with the drone on the air. What we call in a professional uh, language uh, flight envelope. We have a geofencing capability and an algorithm that in real time is crunching all the data and decide whether it's still safe to fly or this is time to smartly, hopefully safely, to take the drone to the ground. And when the algorithm decides, it's do a serious, it triggers a series of options of operation. One of them, we need to cut down the engine, then we need to send some messages, and the last part to deploy our unique patent parent which is one of the benchmark globally that allows the system to be effective in a very low altitude. That's the idea and that's the challenge. How is this tied to the drone or how is it making decisions on its own or with the flight information that's receiving from the drone? So for this solution we mainly manage to do it almost like a plug and play. So you, you buy it uh, from our uh, either website or uh, one of our official uh, vendor for a DJI with a full instruction how to connect it to the drone very easy, with a very basic uh, technical, uh, technical skills. We are not taking any data from the drone. We have even our own uh, power supply redundant. That's part of what we're having. As well, all our sensor that allows us in a fraction of a second to know that you lost control or your drone is not in where it should be. What's the, um, about the lowest altitude that this could be effective at? So our lowest system depends on the way to start from two meter. This one is around six to eight meters. So which means if you're above six meter high, the system will be already efficient. That's a uniqueness. Wow. Our heaviest system protected 330 kilo manned and unmanned jetpack, and this is 15 meter. So we're doing it best compared to other uh, in the market. The one with 330 kilo is 15 meters. Is the 15 so it's about meters. 48 feet. 48 like and this is about 20 feet up and you're, you're going to be safe. Gift. How how long does it need to, like, so, so you get, let's say that you get into an adverse situation. You lose power, um, your tilt starts to go crazy. How much time, obviously 15 meters is only 20 feet, so that's not very much time following, but how quick is this able to less, react? Less than a second. It's almost half a second. It depends. Again, right. it depends the size of the weight, because some of parachute will take slightly longer, but in all our system, it's less than a second. That's amazing. It's, a, it's a literally amazing, and, and the combination of having an autonomous system that monitoring and identifying connected to a system which is very efficient in low altitude, that's what makes one of uh, the kind of the USP of the company, the uniqueness of being efficient in low altitude. Again, you didn't ask about it, but another important issue is reliability. Correct. The idea of how to create the highest reliable system our system from day one is built to meet commercial aviation reliability. This drone, although it's an amazing drone, doesn't meet commercial aviation sure. reliability because you need to invest a lot of money. By having our system connected to this drone on the critical side, it's called mean time between critical malfunction, we provide a commercial aviation reliability. And this is kind of a breakthrough. This is what will allow the FAA and other state aviation authority to open the sky for drone. This is why we consider ourselves one of the important enabler for this industry to grow. What are the type of scenarios that this would help reduce for waivers? Okay. I mean, so in, in our case, we're looking uh, not to, again, you would like to protect your platform, but this sure. is kind of, well, this one is cost 1,000 with, right. with nothing, with a gimbal, you could go up to $20,000. So in, in a smaller investment, you can, you can be safe, not yep. just uh, having insurance. And then if you'd like to be above people or above 
uh, infrastructure, you know, power line, doing sensing for power line. You don't want this to fall on the power line. Right. So you would like it to identify that there is an issue, open the system, and if you'll have even a way to slightly deviate from the parachute, we have a capability, a way to do it. That's right. without revealing everything in one, sure. uh, in one interview, but the idea is that the regulator, you'll prove it that if something critical is happened, you will have system that in an aviation reliability grade will identify, monitor, and open, open a parachute that will reduce the impact energy below a level that could create a damage, you'll get a waiver because you're reducing the risk of creating potential damage. So what are we looking for availability-wise? Are you already in the market? When is it hitting the market? So we're in the market with other type of product, with these two new product for the, this is kind of new system that is just uh, released uh, recently. So by mid-October, it's already on pre-sale. Come and visit our website. You can just start uh, purchasing and ordering. And mid-October will be the first delivery. Mid-October and up. So people want to know more, where do they go? Parazero.com. All right, guys, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Check out www.parazero.com. More coming at you from Inner Drone 2017.